Hey guys, uh, I'm here to just kind of did this video just to kind of show an easy way to uh, dual boot uh, Phoenix Android operating system with Ubuntu. Also, uh, this is a really good way to use this method too to boot this with Windows. Uh, I'll explain why in a bit. Uh, you can triple boot uh, Ubuntu Windows and this using this method if you've already uh, dual booted Ubuntu to the way you like to do it. Now you don't have to do any more partitioning or anything with this method. It's quick and easy. So let's get started. So first thing of course you're gonna just Google Phoenix OS. Uh, you're just gonna go to the web go to their website. Okay so there's a bunch of different versions here. Uh, don't do this this up here the recommended download way. Uh, so EXE installer for Windows, that's if you're going to just go directly to Windows. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. I had a brand new laptop, uh, Intel i7, uh, it's HP Pavilion. It, I had to totally factory restart it after I installed it this way, messed with Phoenix for a bit, it worked for a little bit, and then it, it screwed the computer up. I don't recommend doing it this way. If you want just Android and Windows, just do a 10 gigabyte just do the space for that you want for uh, Phoenix on Ubuntu and just download it this method. Uh, this method doesn't screw anything up. It works perfect for Grub. But anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to down, start downloading the ISO. Uh, so 1.5 is your 32-bit. This up here is your 64-bit. 64-bit, I'm going to, this is, I'm on a 64-bit computer. It runs 64-bit Ubuntu right now. Um, but it doesn't run for some reason Phoenix 64 bit. Uh, my newer computer did and it does now, um, but this one doesn't. So if you have problems or if you're unsure, go with the 32 bit. 32 bit is just a little kind of pain in the butt. It, you always get errors saying, oh, you can't update uh, Google Play Store, but you just click behind it and everything works fine. Uh, there are some apps like PUBG and stuff that don't work, uh, but a lot of the stuff does. Like if you're just doing Android basic stuff, it it's good enough. So anyway, let's get started uh, downloading. I go to Mega. It's a little quicker than their official download. Uh, I don't have an app, and I'm yeah, it's just easier. So this will save to my downloads, or save to my documents. Okay, so I must have already. Oh no, it's downloading right now. So. Uh, so we'll do that and uh, we'll get started on what you need to set up. So uh, first thing I always get is uh, make sure you have Nautilus. It's a file uh, It's a file manager, but it gives itself a little more permissions when you're using it. Uh, I found this an easy way. Just make sure you have it. A lot of Ubuntu uh, stuff comes with it. Uh, mine didn't at first. I had to put it in, but uh, all you're going to do, you can cut and paste from the instructions that I've written below. Or you can just type it in. Uh, so you'll have all these instructions, so you can just do that. sudo so apt get install Nautilus. It's just going to say, I'm just doing it for the sake of uh, showing you. It's going to say it's already there. So um, so then you're going to get, your, you want to get your Grub customizer. Uh, I don't know if I have it, but so you're just going to. Uh, from the link below, you're going to get uh, the Grub Customizer. You're going to do the PPA and the update and stuff. So just uh, copy one line at a time from the instructions below and paste. This kind of just lets me make sure everything works. If I'm going to post this video, uh, give it a minute and I'm going to go ahead and So get enter just to continue with it. Once that's done, I'm gonna uh, you're just gonna do an update. And so I'm doing this all while uh, Phoenix is downloading up here. So this takes just a little bit. I'm going to do my update. So 
So while this is going, this is just a you know really simple, easy, non-buggy way, and it gives you control. You don't have to change any partitions if you want to get rid of Phoenix. You just go to your file and you delete the data files and it's gone. If you just wanted to play with it, it's not a permanent thing, um, you know. But it can be, you know, as long as you're, you, you know, you got your system and stuff up. And then we're gonna install a customizer. This, uh, you want this Grub Customizer because uh, it's an easy way to get the, uh, you need to put in the menu entry, the boot option for uh, Phoenix, uh, custom, a custom line for it, so it just works better. Uh, everything I found on the internet, uh, this was the best way um, to do it that I found. So as that loads, I think, no, that's pretty much it. Those are the two things, your Grub Customizer and Nautilus. So while that's kind of loading, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, well, we gotta wait for that because we gotta run Nautilus, that's right. We're gonna run Nautilus and uh, we're gonna create our file in the other place. Let's see if this is downloading, oh. Okay, so we're gonna go sudo Nautilus. Pseudo Nautilus just runs Nautilus for you. Just type it in the terminal like pseudo Nautilus, like I did. Enter. And it'll go to, it looks a little different than file, regular file manager because it's big. So uh, we're gonna go to, you wanna go to your root file. So you wanna click on uh, other locations. I found in Nautilus, this is where it's at. So go to other locations, go to computer. And then this is your root file. Uh, it's where you'll see bin, boot, CD-ROM, all this other stuff. So uh, right click on it and do new folder. And this is important that you spell this correctly because this is how the boot finds Phoenix. So just do a lowercase Phoenix. Type it correctly. You're going to create. Okay, now we're going to go to our downloads, folders empty. Okay, Phoenix is where I got installed. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract Phoenix. It's doing its thing there. And you're going to be copying some files and moving it over. So, to extract Phoenix, you don't have to be in the Nautilus. It'd probably quicker if I wasn't. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. So, so it's probably in this folder. So it extracted these things. So there's five things you want to copy. So you're going to hit uh, that one, the entered, the install image. So push control on your keyboard and then click it again. Uh, system one, RAM disk image, and the kernel. Okay, once you got all those selected, you can right click. You can copy or cut. Uh, for this, I'm going to cut because I don't really need to save it in there. So cut it, and then you're going to go back to your Phoenix folder, which is in your other locations. It's in your uh, it's in your uh, root file. So this is a, so to find your Phoenix folder. Open it up, and you're just going to right click and paste. Okay, and that's uh, that's all you need to do there. So you can close that out. I always close my terminal after using Nautilus because it gets all weird. You can just close it and then open it back up. I don't know if I'm just weird and I don't know what I'm doing, but there we go. Okay, so we got that done. We got that done. So we can go basically create our data file. So if you look over here, my data file, at the end of it, this is the size of the data file. This is going to be your memory that you give Phoenix. So it's basically going to be Android's hard drive. This is how much memory it'll have access to. So for this, like this, is, I have this on my other computer, I did 128 uh, gigabytes. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna just do 16,000. Uh, because this is a really small, I only got an 80 gigabyte hard drive on the one I'm recording this on. So I'm just gonna do 16,000, and that'll give me 16 gigabytes. 
So you're just going to copy and paste over here in your terminal that line. And the, like I said, you can get this. I'm going to post this in the description. Just push show more uh, below the video and this is where you'll get it. Uh, you might copy and paste, I don't know. Uh, once you hit enter and your password, it's going to sit there for a while. Uh, don't be alarmed. Your computer's not broke. It doesn't give a timer. Uh, if you did like the 16 gigabyte, it should go fairly fast, maybe five, 10 minutes. But like uh, when I did the 128 gigabyte one, uh, it took 30 minutes. So it's just going to sit there like this. So don't do anything until your uh, little prompt comes back up. So you don't want to really mess with anything. I just kind of, just kind of go get some water or take a break or anything like that. Well, I'm going to pause this recording and uh, I'll come back to it when it's uh, complete. All right, guys, it finished doing its thing. Uh, it made the data file for me. And so now you're going to do the second, uh, the second line down below that. Copy paste in your thing. Okay, and that part's done. So if you go back to that Phoenix folder uh, we made, you would see data uh, in there. It'd be in that folder with those other five things that we cut and pasted. All right, so last thing to do really is to put the stuff in the Grub Customizer. So <clears throat> this is, uh, the Grub Customizer can be picky, um, just with the cut and paste, so you can't be sloppy. So don't pay attention to this boot option for Ubuntu. I'll delete that so it's not in the thing. So uh, basically you have to make sure you, when you cut and paste this, that I, I would recommend just doing one line at a time and then hitting enter one line at a time because the, the enter that you actually hit is uh, important to get it going. So you have that. So do the do it however you want, but uh, make sure there's an enter after each line, including the last line when you do this. So I'm going to copy, and you see when I copy it, there's a small spaces after each, and then even it goes to the last line there. So I'm going to pay or copy it. And then I'm gonna go to my system. Uh, wherever your system tools are, uh, you know, you go there. It's under uh, Ubuntu. It's here. Ubuntu. It might be under the other the utilities or in the apps or whatever. I think it's in the apps actually. Uh, just go to Grub Customizer. Oh, password again. And so. Uh, yeah, if you guys want, uh, I'll post a video on how I uh, put a double booted Ubuntu on Windows because I actually have a computer that's triple booted. Uh, I use Grub, Ubuntu's Grub 2 customizer, this one for my uh, for my actual boot up option. Um, but you can set things to where you don't even see it and it just goes to whatever operating system you want. And if you don't want to, you know, you can always hold shift and that'll pop up grub. But anyway, so we're going to add, we're going to add our uh, thing. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Phoenix. Uh, this doesn't have any, type is important though. Uh, whoop, don't, not Linux. You're going to go to other. And this is where you're going to paste the under the boot sequence. You're going to paste. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. And now the, the, go to go to settings. So this is where you can put your stuff. So I want my first entry. I want my predefined. This is whatever's going to boot first, the, like the default boot. I want it to be Ubuntu. Um, but visibility, I want it to show menu. Boot default after 10 seconds. This is where you can set things up to where, you know, you can set this up as long or as short as you want, uh, you know. Basically, that's it. There's not a whole lot more to it. Um, 